Hello everyone, I am Jennifer from EssentiallyHomegrown.com and also part of the Oily Angels team with Young Living. Thank you all for joining me for this quick Essential Oils 101 or introduction to essential oils. Um, I have a script here that's going to help me stay on track. So let's get started. Just get myself situated. So like I mentioned, I am with Essentially Homegrown and I just wanted to share a little bit with you about how I got started on my oily journey. So probably about six or so years ago, we started looking for more natural things to bring into our home. Our kids were getting a little bit older, they were starting to do chores, and I just really remember feeling like I didn't feel safe with our kids using toilet bowl cleaner. Even though they weren't touching it, they were still smelling it. Things like floor cleaner, even dish soap. And that was really early on in our journey to a healthy lifestyle. And I just continued to seek information and I just really wasn't happy with what I found. So we decided to do something about it. And we bought essential oils from online. We bought them from the health food store. And I thought that it was okay. I thought that we were doing something good and healthy for our family. But later I found out that all essential oils are not created equally. And that is why our family chose Young Living to support our healthy lifestyle because of their seed to seal process. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, so, Today, I just want you to kind of think about why you're here, what you want to get out of this intro, what you're looking for, um, and just keep that in mind while, while we're going through the information tonight. Um, so I hope that today or this class will help you on your path to a healthier, toxic-free lifestyle. So we'll just get started with what are uh, Young Living essential oils. So essential oils are highly concentrated aromatic essences of trees, shrubs, herbs, grasses, flowers, and they are greaseless. They're not like other oils like a vegetable oil or coconut oil or something like that that you would have in your home. They are the plant's natural defense and protective mechanism. So they work the same in our bodies as they do in nature, thankfully. Uh, they penetrate our cell membranes and disperse into our blood and tissues. And one drop contains several molecules uh, that affect our body at a cellular level. Um, so their purpose is not only to smell amazing, but they actually help keep our bodies clean and they support normal function of our body systems. Um, so the key to producing therapeutic grade essential oils is to preserve as many of the delicate compounds as possible. Um, the compounds are very, very delicate and there are so much that goes into getting them at just the right time. Um, so that is another aspect where the seed to seal process comes in to play. Uh, so Young Living is the oldest and most trusted essential oil company in the world, in the entire world, right here in the United States, but we are worldwide. Um, so members in other countries have access to these amazing oils, gifts from God. Um, so currently we are the world leader and billion dollar company. We have uh, over 3 million members 
And like I mentioned, we're in multiple countries around the world. And Gary Young has over 25 years of research and experience. And Young Living is actually the only essential oil company in the world with our own farms that offers the seed to seal guarantee. I'm not sure about you, but we, one thing that we really focused on in our journey um, to a healthier lifestyle, healthier lifestyle, excuse me, for our family was knowing where all of our food is coming from. So we found a local farm, we started a cow share, we got our raw milk from the dairy farm, we got cheese, meat, eggs, we could look out in the field and see the cows, we could see the chickens, we knew where um, our groceries were coming from. And to develop that relationship with farmers was just so amazing. It was just a fantastic experience. And just to continue to grow that relationship and have the security and the comfort that you know what you're feeding yourself, what you're feeding your family, what you're giving to your kids, your babies, your teenagers, your husband, your wife, um, just whoever it is that you're feeding. So that was really important for us. So I was really intrigued with the seed to seal process that Young Living offers because they source um, the seeds, they condition the soil, they grow the plants themselves on their farms. Um, so they harvest at specific times of the year during certain periods of the day at certain temperatures. There's just so much that goes into preserving all of the delicate compounds that Young Living has researched for many, many years and taken into consideration. So another thing that I really liked um, and that got me really excited about Young Living was the ability to go and visit the farms. I didn't actually get to visit a farm before we decided to become wholesale members with Young Living, but I did later get to experience that. I got to go to our lavender farm in Mona, Utah. I got to plant lavender seedlings. I got to um, experience the distillation process and really just being there and being able to tangibly hold in my hand the plant material that was going in to the distiller that was going to make oil that our family was going to use was just just an amazing experience and it just made me feel really good um, about the decision that we made to bring that product into our home and use that with our family so Enough about that. Uh, we're gonna get into some more details. So I'm not sure if you've been taking notes, but if you haven't been taking notes, you might wanna start now because we're gonna get into some details. Uh, first of all, I wanna talk about how do you use oils? So you have this oil, how do you use it? Um, one way is you can use it topically, you can use it aromatically, or you can take Young Living essential oils internally as a dietary supplement. So first of all, we just touch on topically, and that's also known as transdermal. Um, for those of you who are more technical with the terms, so essential oils are rapidly absorbed into the skin, which isn't surprising considering skin is our largest organ. <clears throat> um, so applying oils to your feet is a great way to absorb the oils into your body with over 2,000 pores in each foot um, and they are some of the largest pores on your body so that can help your body to quickly absorb the oils and you can also bathe in the oils you can mix 10 drops with some Epsom salt fill up your bathtub dump it in and enjoy so that touches on topically and next I just want to talk about inhalation and I think when people 
think about essential oils, this is what would come to mind. And um, so yeah, we'll talk about inhalation. So I want you to just close your eyes and think about the memory um, that pops into your mind when you think about the smell of fresh baked cookies or fresh cut grass or just the smell of hot apple cider and you can think about those scents and it takes you back to a memory because scents are powerful and they're the best and fastest way to reach the mood center of our bodies. So in less than a second, essential oils hit your limbic system and they have the power to affect our mood. 75% uh, of American homes use synthetic air fresheners. They contain numerous amounts of chemical agents that have been linked to various um, diseases or conditions. Formaldehyde is actually one of them. And when you see the term fragrance on any label, you can remember that it can include up to 300 different chemicals and just be labeled as fragrance. I don't know how that makes you feel, but that scares me. Not knowing what of the 300, if all of the 300, what is in that just one single word, fragrance can contain up to 300 toxic chemicals. No, thank you. <laughs> um, so tenting is a method of inhalation and you can pour boiling water into a glass bowl and you can put a couple drops of essential oil and then you can breathe in the vapors and you can also cover your, your head with a towel and the bowl and you can also breathe it in that way and that's really excellent for respiratory and emotional support. So that touches just slightly on inhaling. So next I wanna talk about ingesting. So you can get the benefits from ingesting Young Living Essential Oils by putting them in an empty veggie capsule and taking them as a pill because they are 100% pure with no synthetic anything. You only get the best part of the plant material. And Young Living Essential Oils are safe. They have been labeled um, as GRAS, which is generally regarded as safe. And um, the oil labels will look a little bit different for those oils. So it's clear which oils have been approved for um, ingestion. And you can cook with the oils to, instead of seasoning, like with oregano essential oil, to enhance flavors. So just pay attention to your bottle labels and make sure you have one. It's a totally different color. Uh, I don't have one right here. This is what the normal label looks like. And the oils for dietary use will have white, a white label with the name on it. So it's pretty easy to recognize. Uh, so next I wanna talk a little bit about safety. Using essential oils safely. This is, I can't stress how important this is. Um, so you can put the oils just about everywhere on your entire body, but there are two places that are just so very sensitive that you should not ever put essential oils. And those two places are in your eyes and in your ears. Um, and care should also be taken to dilute hot oils or oils that are hot to the skin. If an oil feels hot, don't try to wash it off with water because remember, oil and water don't mix. So if you try to wash it off with water, it's gonna drive that oil actually into your skin um, even more. So to dilute it, you can just rub your skin with a carrier oil, some type of fatty vegetable oil, coconut oil, olive oil, um, almond oil, something similar to that. So that kind of brought up my next topic, which is a carrier oil. So what in the world is a carrier oil? Well, a carrier, carrier, excuse me, oil is a fatty oil, such as coconut oil, avocado oil. Uh, you can look for cold pressed or organic oils in your health food store. And Young Living also sells 
a nice blend in a convenient pump called V6 oil. Um, and we use carrier oils to dilute our essential oils to make them easier to spread over a large area to ensure we don't um, apply oils to the skin that are hot. And diluting doesn't mean that it's reducing the effectiveness. Diluting oils can actually make them last longer via time release um, and just using less oil at one time. So that covers um, a few of the different ways to use essential oils. And now we're going to talk about some of the essential oils that you see here behind me. Um, that come in the Young Living Starter Kit. So I want you to just think about working in your kitchen. So you have basics in your kitchen that you use every day, right? Salt, pepper, butter, and these are common basic ingredients that you're most likely to reach for most often in your kitchen. And it's really the same with essential oils. The oils that we're gonna go through um, are what are recommended as the best way to get started to really empower you to rid your home of toxic products, make some beauty products, some cleaning products, um, and to ensure that your body systems are supported. So there are 11 oils that are part of the premium starter kit plus a diffuser to use all of them. So the first oil that we're gonna talk about is lavender. This is our lavender essential oil. There you go. You can see it. So lavender can enhance relaxing routines and it's called the Swiss Army Knife of oils because it's actually one of history's most celebrated and versatile essential oils. So you've probably seen lavender in everything, and shampoos, conditioners, all kinds of different stuff. Um, so it's one of the safest essential oils that can be applied undiluted to your skin. So some of the primary benefits are um, diffusing it for a comforting scent and you can also add it to one of your favorite shampoos, lotions, or skincare products. And the next oil we're going to talk about is peppermint. I want to say for each oil, oh this is one of my favorites, but really I couldn't pick a favorite. There's no way. I just love all of them. Um, so pepper, peppermint excuse me, is a powerful botanical and fresh aroma that uplifts the spirit. And Young Living Peppermint Oil is so potent that one drop delivers the effectiveness of 26 cups of pure peppermint tea. Wow, just think about that for a minute. That's amazing. And the oils are very potent. Uh, a little goes a long way. So some of the primary benefits of peppermint are it supports uh, gastrointestinal system comfort and promotes health, healthy bowel function, uh, supports normal digestion, and it also may help perform or support performance during exercise. I actually like to add peppermint to my hot chocolate because before we transitioned to a toxic-free lifestyle. I always liked to add peppermint mocha creamer to my hot chocolate or my coffee, um, but once I learned what was in that, I didn't want to do that anymore. So it's nice to add a little peppermint um, to have that taste. So next we're going to talk about lemon. Lemon can create an aromatic environment that is just fresh smelling and energizing and positive. Um, Young Living's lemon oil and most of our citrus oils are cold pressed from the rind of the lemon and it's not from the pulpy acidic juice. Um, and as you may or may not know, the vitamins and nutrients are actually in the rind itself. So you're not getting all of the acidic pulp, but you are still getting all the vitamins and nutrients. Um, so when you are using lemon essential oil and you add it to your water, you want to make sure that it's in a steel bottle or a cup. If you use styrofoam or a plastic cup, you will probably end up with water in your lap because the lemon essential oil will actually eat through the plastic or the styrofoam. 
but that's actually what makes lemon so great is that it's a great support for the cells in your body. It actually helps clean the cells in your body. Um, so one of the primary benefits is that, and another is it enhances food and drink and enhances the flavor. Next up is frankincense. This is actually one oil that Hopefully, we don't ever, ever, ever have to be without in our home because it is just one of my absolute favorites. Um, it's a very valuable and sought after oil. Frankincense at one time was actually valued more than gold and only those with great wealth and abundance possessed it. Uh, frankincense has a visual tightening effect on the skin and may benefit older and more mature skin. And it includes naturally occurring constituent alpha pinene. And some people like to diffuse it for meditation um, and grounding. I personally like to add the frankincense vitality to my tea. I call it tea, but it's not really tea. I just boil some water, add a teaspoon of honey and a couple drops of frankincense. And I like to have that in the morning when I wake up or at the end of the night to kind of help um, unwind from the day. So that is one of my favorite uses for frankincense. Next, we're gonna talk about copaiba. Copaiba is an oil that's traditionally been used to support the body's natural response to irritation and to also support healthy digestion. So it comes from a resin that's tapped from a tree like maple syrup and it's distilled like frankincense. So you tap the resin and it is like a gum or a resin and then you distill the oil from the resin. Um, so one of the primary benefits of copaiba is to just promote overall wellness and it may be an important part of your daily health regime. And you can mix it with honey and warm water, also similarly to frankincense, to create uh, a tea-like drink. And so next, we are going to talk about thieves. If you've heard of Young Living, you've probably heard of thieves. This is one of our signature blends. Um, you can diffuse six to eight drops of thieves to help create an environment of peace and security. And Young Living's Thieves Essential Oil uh, blend is one of the most popular blends. And it was inspired by the legend of four 15th century thieves who wore blended botanicals and found them to be supportive of their immune systems. So if you think back to the 15th century, you can probably... <clears throat> understand why it would have been so important um, to have a healthy, supported immune system. Um, so it also contains eucalyptus, rosemary, clove, cinnamon bark, and lemon essential oils. So like I mentioned, it's one of our blends. And it is also one of the main oils in our Thieves home care product lines. So you can look into that a little too. Um, next, we are going to talk about Panaway. Each time I grab for an oil, I just wanna say, this is one of my favorites. So Panaway has a stimulating aroma and it's is a popular and original combination of wintergreen helichrysum, clove, and peppermint essential oils. And some of the primary benefits is um, it's great to apply topically after exercise. It includes the naturally occurring constituents of methyl salicylate, um, menthol, and eugenol. So it has a lot of those um, that are really supporting um, to your body. And next we're gonna talk about purification. Here we go, purification. So purification is a blend of six oils, lemongrass, rosemary, 
Lavendin Melaleuca Alternifolia, which is tea tree oil, uh, myrtle, and citronella. And the cleansing effects of purification help cleanse, neutralize mildew, cigarette smoke, uh, disagreeable odors, odors, cat urine. I like to take it with me and diffuse it in my hotel room. Um, and another one of my favorite, favorite uses for purification is to put a few drops on a cotton ball, stick it in stinky shoes, and put them in a bag. Stinky shoes, stinky hockey gear, stinky any kind of gear, any kind of sports gear. You just put a few drops on a cotton ball, close it up in a bag, and let it do its thing. Uh, next, we're going to talk about Digize. This is Digize. And Digize is a blend of eight oils, including tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel. Um, so to help you kind of wind down for the evening, you can diffuse Digize essential oil and enjoy the relaxing aroma. Um, you can enjoy its, you can enjoy its rich calming scent. Um, or you could add two drops of Digize Vitality and one drop of Peppermint Vitality to water for a stimulating uh, beverage. And one of the primary benefits is to support the digestive system, the excretory system, and the nervous system. Um, so I really like to apply Digize topically uh, to support those systems. Next, we're going to talk about RC. Here we go. And this is actually, aside from frankincense and thieves, RC is another oil that we stay pretty stocked up on in our house. Um, so you can diffuse it to create a comforting aroma. It's a blend of 10 different essential oils. Um, you can rub about three drops on your feet before bedtime. And it includes naturally occurring compounds is um, caffeine, eucalyptol. I'm probably not pronouncing some of these right, but that's okay. Um, and so next is the bonus oil that comes in the starter kit, and that is Stress Away. So Stress Away is the last blend that we're going to talk about. Um, so this is the oil that you want to have with you when you have three kids and a 10-hour car drive or <laughs> um, you're shopping with your kids in the grocery store. Um, so you can diffuse it, you can breathe it in through your nose, you can put it on your wrist and your neck, and it's a blend of six oils that include copaiba, lime, vanilla. Um, so that's a really great oil to have as well. Um, and that is it for the 11 oils that come in the starter kit. And you also get some samples in your starter kit. And one of those is Ninja Red. So you'll get a couple of these in your starter kit. And this is Young Living's Superfruit. And it's made from wolfberries from the Ninja province of China. And it's just so supercharged with citrus essential oils. So just one, a one ounce shot of Ninja Red supplies the whole body with vital antioxidants and provides a natural source of energy. Um, so one of the benefits is to just, uh, it supports normal cellular function. It can help with energize and energy support. Um, so I really love that. And you can also add some of your favorite Vitality essential oils um, to a Ninja Red shot. And that does it for everything that comes in your starter kit in terms of your oils and your samples. You'll get some of these uh, little sample sachets that come in there. And you'll also get some literature and some materials. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this with me. And if you are ready to say 
you're done with chemicals and you are ready to start your toxic free living journey then i want you to reach out to the member who gave you the link to this video or to introduce you to young living essential oils and if you just found it through my website or through my facebook page then please reach out to me and someone can help you get started thanks again for watching